Hey, this is Eileen Fernandez Parker from Cultivating the Learning. Um, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to use the count if formula for simply counting things that need to be counted. In this situation, this was a reception um, where people filled out a form and they told what they wanted for lunch. And now we need to order lunch. So I don't know about you, but I wouldn't feel like counting all of these things when I know a really quick formula that will do it for me. So I'm going to show you that formula now. And the formula is um, you always have to start with equals. And then this particular uh, formula is count if. And then you have to start with your open parentheses. Now, once you do that, Google Sheets gives you a tutorial right on the screen. So you have to tell it the range or which cells to look at. And then you have to tell it what it's trying to match up against. So my cursor is blinking here. I want all of column E to be matched against this criteria. Notice it put E colon E in, and I have to click back into that cell and I have to add the comma. So notice the comma that is right here. That comma has to be in my formula or it won't work. So I put my comma in and now notice right here, it has quotation marks around the information that is that it is looking for. So if it is matching text, you have to put it in quotation marks. So since this is a deli, the deli count right here, I have to get back in here. Since that is the deli count, in between the quotation marks, I have to put the exact thing that would be in the form results. Now, a word of caution, when you're doing a form, if you wanna be able to use the count if, you have to give the person options that they will check off so that every single thing is spelled correctly and is identical. Because if you said deli sandwich or wrap, some people might put sandwich, some people might put sand, some people might put S, some people might put wrap, and then it's not gonna work. So it's gotta be from a list of choices. And, it, and what I put in my formula has to be exactly the same. So deli, sandwich, or wrap. Caps does not matter, and that's a good thing. Then you have to close out your quotations, and then you don't the computer will close out the parentheses for you. So at that point, you can just hit enter. And so now there are 48 finished, okay? So I can, um, I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. It's gonna be count if, parenthesis, oops, I forgot my equal sign. You have to start with equals or it doesn't work. Equals count if, I'm gonna select my column. I'm going to insert my comma. I'm gonna put my parentheses in and this one, since it's salad, is just salad. And I'm gonna show you that capitalization does not matter by lowercase, lowercasing the S. And I have my ending parentheses, I hit enter and there are 12 salads. For the vegetarian equals count if parenthesis select my range insert my comma quotations vegetarian and I didn't even have to end my quotes the computer knew to and did it for me so it will end the quotes and the bracket uh, parenthesis so now I know exactly how many I have now let's just say that a person changes from deli sandwich to salad, I'm gonna change it here, but I want you to watch up here to see what happens to deli versus salad. So I'm gonna change deli to salad. So 48 should go to 47 and 12 should go to 13 and there it goes. So you can set this formula before anyone even starts filling out the uh, form and it will just continue to calculate. So if I have another vegetarian, and if I have another salad, and if I have another deli, up here, my numbers have automatically increased. If you found this helpful, please click the thumbs up underneath the video.